Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. On the last episode I think we killed Horson Jr. Uh, he was uh, a bad man. And in this episode we are going to talk to the King Radovid. He has... Uh, yeah, some stuff for me to do. Um... So we'll see what he has to say, the king. Is he? Oh, okay. There you are. Need something from me, your majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. An Eilhart, eh? I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philip is using magic. He'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. Parted ways? You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain Witcher revealed that the Lodge was behind a regicide. The mages proved to be traitors. While the Witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna steal all your stuff, Radovid. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. <laughs> Owned. Okay, let's see here. Quests. Paper skill about to learn about doo doo. Uh, let's see, secondary quest. That's in Skellige. And that's in Skellige too, I think. With the black pearl. Hmm. Let's go and talk to Triss. So... Oh, billboard! There it is! More quests! Where am I? In the city. Oh, I'm in Oxenforth. Let's go to the armory and see what he's up to. Beware of trolls. To the east of Oxenford. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Hello. Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. So, this. A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Falling to a rut and 
Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hooks, no hollers, no standing ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form? Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else would it be? Hmm. Show me what you have in stock. Let's show me. I'll start to sell all of these. <coughs> okay. Like so. Medium armor, no. Oh. Let's buy this. Ooh. And those. Those. See if I got any pants. Fourteen. Twelve. Can't have those. Twelve. Well, those are better then. I know we'll buy some of these. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's see if I can sell something more to him. Uh, no, I can't. Okay. So long. Well, I will sell my stuffs enough that I put these on. Nice. My god, I look so handsome. I will just sell you some stuff. Like so. So long. So long. Oh. Okay, there's the door. Let's see here. <clears throat> there is supposed to be. There it is. Let's see if I can get to it. So. Then we will just... Fly over here. Let's do that. Let's see what it is. I really want to um, do um, the two DLCs in this. Mm hmm. But I need to be level 30 for that. Oh, I see another one here. Uh-huh. Hmm. Maybe I should look into that too. But I really wish to go to Trace. Okay, so let's do this and after that I'm going to Trace. Prepare for battle. You shall not have it easy this time. Brought friends? Huh. They all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No. No, no, they defend justice. For it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. Uh... But since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. Oh. Oh, 
I thought they had. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Made Bilberry. <laughs> I wonder if that person isn't. Or is a person, or he just made her up. I don't know. Because I wouldn't date that guy. Yeah. If he's going to run around and scream my name everywhere. No, I don't want to fight you. I just want to go to Triss. Thank you. No, I will not do anything on the floor. Hello. Yes, of course. Of course we can talk. Yes, girl. You all right? Hmm. So so. Why do you ask? Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. Oh. Don't quite know what to think. Who is it from? I'm sorry, boy. Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Where is he? My knee. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Hmm. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. I think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm hmm Fine. Let's... Okay. You have something. Apple? Free butter knife! Oh my god, you really love your butter. <gasps> Four? You really love your butter. Tris. <laughs> and look at you. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wearing a blue shirt. And uh, has keys hanging from his belt. Okay. I don't have the tough time for you. I'm helping Trace. My beloved, my lover. Mm hmm. Okay, is he supposed to be here? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. 
but it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Oh, I didn't even know it was him. Oh, okay, he got the keys. He's back there. Okay. I just took the first blue man I saw. Or blue shirt man I saw. You can be safe. I one shot these guys. What did they want from you? I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You were to come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Baldo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected. Since Lady Bagel Bud. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Bagelbud's son. He's the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple guard's gotten weak. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Bagelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters pay for every mage revealed to him. Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? It ain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? Aye. We'll not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from the Zare. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. We won't have to stay till the end. And you're coming with me? Of course yes. I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. <laughs> Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Didn't I buy fox or masks? Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Oh, do I need to... Oh, do I wear the clothes too? Where is... Elia? Okay, maybe it's taking me to Elliot's shop. Okay, let's see. Eighty five desserts. Oh, my God. It's even much more than uh, my mom made on uh, 
when my sister had a party because she was ending school, she made 14 different kinds of cakes. Well, all of them are good, so... Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. I wonder if that's from Simpson. Well, I already have so but I don't have the fox. Let's see if I can sell anything for him. Mm-hmm. So long. Whew. Thank you. Let's see here, let's put I hope that's good. I want to be fancy for Triss. Hmm. So that she would like me even more. Hopefully. Oh, wrong way. Mm. I wonder what she's going to wear. Hopefully something nice. Nice marigold. Oh my! Certainly took my request to heart. I mean, you weren't being serious. Still got time to change. Don't you dare! You look great. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, double is chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? I think the wolf mask is best here. Mm-hmm. Big place. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Things in order? You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Thank you. Do you understand me? I haven't been outside the city in ages. Well, okay, let's go. Parrot mask. Okay, she's following me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. 
Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian, hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. Huh? Is he drunk? Looks like it. <coughs> okay. Why are they... I'm not even going to ask. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Triss, not what we're here for. No, it's exactly why we're here. Well, Moritz? Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenfell. Tell you the story later. Hmm? <laughs> oh, it's in here. Oh, they're playing Gwent. No. <laughs> I suck so bad at it. Carrot mask. There it is. Uh, excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout fire? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but... Perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight. But if you trust this man... Like no one else. Oh. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from... Hmm? Oh, there it is. Okay, Albert, Panther Mask. Lots of food. Yes. 
Yes, darling. Albert Bagelbud? For you, my sweet, I can be out of Valentino. I think that's not him. Yes. Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. Oh my count. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. When can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Hoo hoo hoo. Hopefully I will get it. I love you. Is it in here? Oh, okay, here it is. Yes. Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, a ball, or reception. An amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Ah, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. It was. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's uh, coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Nude! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Coming for you. Geralt! Coming! Are you... After one? 
One cup of wine? Well, I don't really need to find you because I'm just following you, so... Where the heck is the statue? I can't see any of those. <laughs> Don't fall in the water, please. Careful. Oh, can I kiss her? Miracle at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Mm-hmm. Am I just sitting here and waiting? Oh my god, Garrett is so good at sitting and waiting for everything. No. Uh, so, about this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelfoot. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Trying it, Bin. <laughs> Ouch. Nice. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. What? No! Do I have... No. Do I have to find out of this on my own? This way? <gasps> Is there something in here? No? Okay. So let's go here. 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 Am I going the right way? Okay, here it is. Good. Hmm? Stables! Hello! Okay, there the, are the stables. Stables! Someone is after your Alberti! Oh, I've begun to worry. some trouble hunters will they come here no we've got some time but please send someone to the garden needs a little tidy i shall see to it and you must hurry everything's set yes got your swords back from the guard and ingrid gave me the coin it's so it's more than i expected 
stunning anymore, Frank. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? I it love was you. my fault. I know. The, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Triss, no. don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Hmm. Okay, guys. I am going to end this episode here. But first, I am going to... She wait. That's better. Change my clothes. And uh, put away the mask. Like so. I'm gonna end this episode here and I hope that we see you guys on the next episode. We will say goodbye to Triss. Maybe we can make her stay or something, I don't know. But I hope that I will see you guys there. So, bye everyone.